Are you a people pleaser, addicted to approval? Do you find yourself having a little adrenaline rush every time you get a certain amount of likes on social media? Well, self-proclaimed recovering approval addict Don Owens is here to help many of us overcome the addiction to likes. Welcome, Dawn. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Thanks for having me. You talk about your mom being the center of the universe. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where it started, as well as moving to high school and being picked on and really becoming a chameleon to fit in yes. so that you would be approved. Yes, and um, I, I didn't, I, I saw bits of that, but it was that mirror moment yeah. where it was like the flood of memories of all the different ways that I've tried to become who people needed to be me to be in order to fit their desire for my life in some way, shape, or form. And so, yeah, those were pivotal uh, pieces of my growing up and reflecting back on uh, who I was and, and really, you know, who I wish I could have been in yeah. those moments. And, and really, that's the message of the book. I'm hoping that as adults read the book, they start to come to know fully who they are and they start teaching that to their children mm -hmm. and guiding their children and understanding they are who God says they are. They belong to him and they can operate out fully powerfully in the identity that God has given mm. to them too. Now Don, how do we figure out if we are addicted to approval? Well, in the book, I identify a couple of questions that yeah. you can use now online. We've got a quiz, you can check that out as well on my website. But for now, if you think about how frequently you're concerned with other people, mm. right? Are you worried about what your in-laws think about how you're parenting your child? Mm. Or um, how clean your house is. Or how you clean your house is. <laughs> or do you have them over when your house is not clean? <laughs> <right>? <laughs> or anybody else for that matter. Yeah. Um, are you uh, afraid to say no? Mm. Does that concern you? And uh, you know, kind of get your heart racing of, well, what will they think if I if I if I say I can't do that or I can't go there? Are you concerned you're going to miss something when you don't go? Mm. Or can you feel confident in the fact that you're good where you are and they're going to have fun where they are and all will be well in the world? Do we get caught up in those things? Um, from a social media standpoint, do you post and then worry about likes, comments, shares? How many? Who's following you? Mm -hmm. What did they say? How did they say it? Well, did they take that tone with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did they comment on hers and not on mine? Yeah. <laughs> right? So we can get caught up in all of those different areas. Um, comparison, mm -hmm. you know, comparing my life to your life. How frequently do you do that? Do you find yourself getting jealous mm -hmm. over the things that someone else has uh, that you don't? Are you um, irritated because somebody doesn't live up to your expectations? Mm -hmm. That's really just your desire to feel loved and approved of and they're communicating of them doing whatever you've asked them to do. Yeah. So um, those are just a few of the ways that you can dig into that. And you talk about control. We were talking about this. Yes. And I love this line on page 53. It says, <laughs> I have been the controlling leader who thought she had to have all the best ideas, all the answers, and all the right words so everyone would think she was the best thing since Fixer Upper came to <laughs> HGTV. <laughs> right? Control is a big part of, who would know, of approval, yes. an addiction to approval. Yes, very much so. And, I didn't fully understand that until I started really working through this book and under and starting to uh, ask the Lord, show me all the different ways that this manifests itself in our lives. And I realized in that, um, especially from the, the story I shared before it, how much it was important to me that everything looked perfect. And when I asked myself why, it was because I wanted people's approval of me. Mm. I wanted them to validate me, to affirm me, to make me feel like I had just done the best thing since Fix Your Upper, yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> right? And so, um, yeah, control is a huge issue. And I think as women, it's almost innate in us to want to control things just like Eve did in mm -hmm. the garden, right? Mm -hmm. It was that, I'll take that apple and see what I can do yeah, with that. Yeah. And so we have to be very careful with it because we can really get things turned upside down, not only uh, with our relationship with the Lord, but our relationships with others, because it doesn't feel good to be controlled or manipulated. Uh, and so uh, we really need to do a heart check to know is this how I should be responding to this mm. and and why just why am I doing this am I seeking the approval of man or am I doing it for God and that's that's it at the end of the day who are we seeking approval for so how do we move forward so you say in your book our identity is under attack and we right. have to realize that remind ourselves of whose we are Real, realize guilt and shame doesn't come from God and forgiveness. Realize the person that hurt you or ignited your insecurities 
came from a place of pain. Yeah. So how do we, again, focus on where our identity comes from and the fact that we don't have to seek approval from our Facebook friends, but we need to know that God already approves of us? Well, the only place that I know to go to find my identity is in the Word of God. Yeah. And so we have to start there. We have to understand uh, who the God of the heavens is, the creator that gifted us with life in the first place. And as we slowly understand who he is mm -hmm. as our creator, as the, an image bearer of him, we can understand more of who we are. Mm -hmm. And as we do that, we can feel more comfortable in our own skin because we can operate out of that identity. And then uh, learning the scriptures and repeating them over mm -hmm. ourselves that we're chosen, we're royal, royal priesthood, we're a holy nation. I'm a daughter of God. I have an inheritance that he's given me. I've got these hidden treasures I could just reach into and grab out of because I have the power and authority of Christ in me, right? And so as I learn those things, I can walk with the full authority that he's given me, not exercising that to control or manipulate, but in a way that helps me be who I am and you be who you are. Mm. And both of us be comfortable in that space because we are both daughters and children of the most high God. And he has got enough for both of us. Yeah, there is room at the table for all of us. Yes. And God has created us all so differently. Yes. And we celebrate that. Yes. Thank you so much, Dawn. Thanks for having me. This the, is great. The book again is like me or not overcoming approval addiction. And there is a quiz back here because if I know some of you are watching saying, I've got this all under control, Maggie. I don't have addiction to approval issues. You might be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely you want to pick up this book. Stay with us. We'll be right back.